Welcome to another Grand Turismo Sport Jelly Car Challenge. Well, actually, it's sort of kind of another in the sense of it's another episode, but it's the same challenge done again, and this time I'm hopefully going to win. This is win a race against supercars with a jelly car. As of now, it's going possibly even worse than the first one. I got beat, beaten and battered there more than I honestly figured I would, but, well, at least I got to use the skid my car along the first turn strategy, because that seems to work better than actually trying to make a turn legitimately. So, well, given that this can't happen legitimately in real life, I assume, I might as well do a bit of cheatery along the way so I can actually, well, win. Second place ain't gonna do much, is it? I wanna win. So, well, yeah, hopefully I can, folks. Hopefully I can. As of now, maybe I might be able to win. Yeah, I'm surprised, too. Can I make a pass for the lead already? No, I think I'm already... Yeah, I saw that coming. I didn't really see that coming. No, I haven't flipped around that turn yet. I thought it for a minute there I saved it. I thought at the first second I was going to roll. At the second second I thought I saved it. But, well, at the third second I did roll. <laughs> this car is completely random. You can predict it in terms of speed. But, well, after that speed is gotten, it's random. You can try to, to do your best to maintain speed or whatever with it, but it's kind of iffy. Obviously, that middle turn, if you take it at 100, you have a better chance at 110, but if you start not making it at 100 or 110, either way, you're probably still going to roll. So, yeah. There's more luck than skill with this car, but that's to be expected. So, can I make that up? Well, given that I actually caught the leader in about two laps there, I didn't get around the leader really, but I caught the leader. In theory, yeah, I might just might be able to make it up. In reality, we're gonna have to see, but in theory, yeah. I have a much better chance this time than last time. That first turn strategy seems to be working very well. And also, I just know the course better. I know what the car's gonna do better. There's no way to know it good because, well, this car ain't good. But I do know it better, so that's better than nothing, I guess. And, yeah, Jiminy Cricket, I'm already in a battle for the lead there, side by side. And, well, I got second, and now I got the lead. That was quicker than, well, as quickly as I got second, I got the lead there. I was a battle for the lead in the sense the second was in first draft, and I was getting around second. But, well, by the time I actually got around second, there was the first third, so then I got around that turn quicker than Liggity Split, and I got, well, around to the lead. I ended up getting around to leading the race, didn't I? I got around to it eventually. But as I go around and around and around this course, hopefully this car doesn't go around. <laughs> but, well, to round it up, I'll just sort of speed it up. Right? Because until something happens, there really ain't that much point in sewing just me going around and around and around some more. Where it stops, it's pretty cut big and obvious. It's lap 10. So, well, it's lap 10, so, well, let's sew the end here. It's looking like I might very well get a win, and Jiminy Cricket, it's actually looking like I might lap some cars. So that's something that I have right yonder, ain't it? I wasn't really expecting to lap cars in this thing, so... Yeah, you know, because that McLaren is slower than the Camaro there, yeah, that's realistic. But nonetheless, I got to win. Yeehaw. I don't exactly feel like this is... or that's an NSX, I think. But nonetheless, either way, an NSX or a or McLaren or whatever it is behind the Camaro shouldn't be slower than the Camaro. But then again, I'm ahead of the Camaro by a lap in a car lane. And I'm in a PlayStation 3 controller. So, well, there you have it, folks. I won the race, I lapped some cars, and, well, can't really complain about that. A jelly car is able to beat supercars. That's pretty cop big and awesome. And there will be even more completely... Eh... Completely, depending on the car. Yeah, just keeping it pretty cop picking awesome. No need to sugarcoat it. It's y'all's opinion of what well, y'all want to see more. I'll try to win a race or just downright stupidity. But nonetheless, there'll be some of both in the future. So, yeah, I think that's worth for y'all, no matter what y'all's preferences is. But what y'all's preferences is, maybe just leave it too. If y'all want more just random shenanigans or if y'all want me trying to race more, like actual race with these, whatever, I can do both, maybe. But that's part of the fun, is maybe not. So, as always, yee-haw!